Back in the early 20th century, the Wright brothers pioneered the first aircraft. Since then, the progression in aviation skyrocketed, and the skies have quickly filled with our creations. They come in all walks of life, ranging from the iconic military-grade submarine Spitfire to the commercial airliners such as the revolutionary Douglas DC-3 to popular private planes such as the Cessna. The Douglas DC-3 was introduced in the 1930s and is debatably the first successful commercial airliner. The plane is driven forward by two Wright R1820 cyclone engines, which rotate the propellers at incredible speed to provide thrust. This is a V-type engine named after the orientation of its pistons. This engine uses a four-stroke piston cycle to translate explosive chemical energy to rotational energy along the crankshaft. The cylinder consists of the piston, shaft, counterweight, valves, and the crankshaft. The crankshaft is a pole that's run through the engine and is connected to all the shafts. This rotates as all the pistons go through their cycle, each consisting of four strokes. In the intake stroke, the piston is pulled downwards, drawing in a fuel-air mixture into the chamber through the intake valve. The valve is then shut, trapping the gas in the chamber. The piston then reverses, pressurizing the gas in the compression stroke. Once compressed, the fuel mixture is ignited, and the high pressure generated by the combustion forces the piston downwards in the power stroke. Finally, in the exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve opens, and the piston exhales all the burnt gases, ready to start the cycle again. Pistons execute their four strokes at different periods to make sure there is always a force rotating the propeller. The fuel in the cylinder heads are ignited by a system of spark plugs and magnetos. A magneto is a device that uses magnets to generate an electric current that's independent from the rest of the aircraft. This energy is led to the spark plug where the high voltage will cause a spark to jump across the gap, igniting the fuel. With all this energy flowing around, there's a gradual buildup of heat which must be dispersed or else this can cause some serious problems. The majority of small planes are air-cooled. In most cases, air enters from the opening situated behind or below the propeller. Increasing the airspeed can cool down the engine. Lowering engine power can lower the heat it emits. Sometimes, engines are cooled by liquid by absorbing the heat and dispersing it elsewhere. An overly lean mixture causes detonation, which may result in rough engine operation, overheating, and a loss of power. The best way to maintain the proper fuel-air mixture is to monitor the engine temperature and enrich the mixture as needed. Detonation is an uncontrolled, explosive ignition of the fuel-air mixture within the cylinder. It causes excessive temperatures and pressures, which, if not corrected, can quickly lead to a failure of the piston, cylinder, or valves. Detonation may lead to pre-ignition, where the expanding gases exert excessive pressure on the piston while still on its compression stroke, which can cause severe damage to the engine. Problems may also occur in the opposite scenario with richer fuel mixtures. It can result in engine roughness and appreciable loss of power. The roughness is normally due to spark plug fouling from excessive carbon buildup on the plugs, which may lead to failed ignition. This was our entry to the 2018 Air Prize competition. This took us many hours to make, so we hope you liked what you saw. Like and subscribe just because I'm going to start that again. Like and subscribe. I don't want to say that.